Well, good morning, my friends. I am just leaving my apartment here in Tirana, Albania. I arrived late last night, if you guys saw my last <laughs> video. So I realized that I usually do videos of a destination once I have spent at least a few days or a week in them to kind of more extensively know <laughs> the lay of the land. But even though I'm going to do that, I thought it would be fun to do a sort of first impressions of Tirana because just driving in here does look like a very unique city, so I'm excited to explore it. And I thought it would also be interesting to show you guys the kind of things that I have to do when I first arrive in a city on a practical basis, like get a SIM card, get groceries, kind of understand the public transit, get the lay of the land, that sort of thing. So this isn't going to be an extensive sort of vlog about Tirana, that will come later, but I thought that I would give you guys my first impressions, show you how I get accustomed to a new city, and have a fabulous time. So I am all good to go with internet now. I have 18 gigabytes to get me through the month and sometimes I do even more than that with my live streaming and all that kind of stuff. But the prices are incredibly reasonable compared to Canada anyway. Uh, 2000 Albanian lek is 20 USD. So 25 Canadian basically. And that's like unlimited talk and text as well. So. For $20, I am more than happy. So something interesting that I don't think a lot of travel YouTubers really talk about or probably admit to is that, at least for me, I find it really necessary to go to like, you know, Canadian or American sort of restaurants instead of just trying the local food all the time, especially when I'm feeling homesick. Because the last uh, week in Macedonia, I was eating so much um, local food, which was delicious. Um, the first thing that I wanted to do this morning was to go to a very American sort of breakfast place and get some eggs benedict, some coffee. So I will promise that we will go to a more traditional restaurant tonight, but since I'm being honest, that is something that I kind of do when I feel like I've been traveling, you know, in foreign countries for a long time and want a little taste of home. This is kind of as close as it gets. 
So I did end up getting one of my breakfast favorites, which is Eggs Benedict, and I got mine with avocado, like a true millennial. <laughs> uh, but I didn't expect that there was going to be three of them. That is a whole lot of food, but I am excited to dig in. All right, guys, so now that I have finished up with the Eggs Benedict, it was very good. I actually wanted to mention to you that one thing I have noticed so far is that English isn't as widely spoken as I found it was in like North Macedonia and Bulgaria. Because having said that, I was super surprised there how many people spoke English literally everywhere I went, not just, you know, the big cities. But I have found that in the 24 hours that I've been here so far, the majority of the places that I went uh, didn't understand English that well. Like thankfully the places that really mattered, like the SIM card and obviously the restaurants that are geared more towards um, tourists will of course speak English. So I just wanted to make that point that while I was super surprised in Macedonia and Bulgaria, um, just how widely it was spoken, I think here is the more normal sorts of circumstances where the average person you meet probably isn't going to speak English fluently. So while we're on the topic of learning more languages, because I don't want to expect people to just learn English for my sake. I would like to learn their language as well. I would really like to thank Rosetta Stone for sponsoring today's video. So if you guys haven't heard of Rosetta Stone before, it is a leading language learning program that has been around for over 25 years. I myself have used it back in the day about 15 years ago when I was first learning Japanese on my first trips there. And I have also found it to be really helpful to keep up my Russian, which is my native native language, uh, so I use their advanced version for that. What's also really great about their program is that it's really easy to use when you're on the go. I usually do all of my lessons from my phone, but you can also do it on desktop or a tablet. So it just makes learning a new language much easier and streamlined. So you're not waiting, you know, for a teacher to book you a certain time slot every week or to just rely on books. It really is an interactive sort of experience and you get to learn grammar, pronunciation and sentence structure all in the same course. So in partnering with Rosetta Stone, I do have a very special offer for you guys. If you click the link in my description, you will get a discount on all of their monthly plans as well as their lifetime plan, which is unlimited access to all of their language learning programs for life. And it is on sale for only $199. This is an absolutely incredible deal and something that I have to have myself where I'm traveling to so many different countries and want to be able to just switch in between languages anytime I want. So if you guys are interested in checking out the deals, I will have that link in the description for you and I would love to know your experience. Another thing that has become very apparent is that Tirana has incredible restaurants, bars, and cafes. Like I have been walking for four blocks straight and it's just endless places that look like, look at this, look. How beautiful is that? Like this is the same kind of stuff that you would find in Paris or in London, just like very unique boutique high-end sorts of places to just like relax and meet with friends. I had no idea that this city was so trendy and had so many cool places to check out. Lights down low, still wondering what you're saying. Stay, stay, stay. 
So here we are in the main square, you guys. Skanderbeg, I believe it's called. And my goodness, walking around this city, I don't know what exactly I was expecting before I came here, but it wasn't this. <laughs> like, this is not what I was expecting. This city is incredibly modern, very hip. The people, even if we can't communicate directly are very nice and to be honest I actually feel really safe here like it feels like a very peaceful city and there's actually a lot of police all around so somehow I get the feeling that there's probably not a lot of crime especially in the center I can't tell you guys how much I enjoy having these kinds of experiences and coming to these kinds of places because it once again just proves that there is so many more amazing places in this world that at least in North America we rarely hear about and I think we get a big head about ourselves that oh you know Canada, America, the main powers of Europe are so great and I mean they are but these kinds of places have a lot to offer as well. <laughs> so, so far my first impressions of Toronto are 10 out of 10, 100% uh, recommend. And I'm also excited that if I'm this impressed on my first day, I think I'm going to be even more impressed as I go along. <laughs> So we are in a bit of a local area right now and I thought that this would be a good place to take you guys to a supermarket and kind of give you an idea of what you can expect as far as prices go for groceries here.
all right friends we are home for the night and my goodness what a fantastic day i can't tell you how excited i am to explore this city further because as you guys saw just today how much there is to do and what a beautiful city it is so i'm sure that the more you dig under the surface the more that you're gonna find so i hope you guys stay tuned as I discover this beautiful city and of course this beautiful country. Once again, a very big thank you to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna have the link in the description so you guys can get those discounts on their monthly plans as well as their awesome lifetime plan. So make sure you go check it out. And as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a fantastic day and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.